I literally sliced my hand up. I have to put together my backdrop. He failed to turn stuff in. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Here, you shape it like you want to shake it. Go ahead. Three, two, one. I'm about to do some skincare and now I look like the mask. It does feel really good though. And that's gonna be it. Hey y'all, welcome to another video. Happy um, Thanksgiving Eve. So today is Wednesday and I'm on break, but I'm on break a little bit earlier today because I had to get April from school to get out early because of report card conferences. But y'all, I'm so pissed. I literally sliced my hand up. It doesn't, it's not really a slice, but literally like gash my hand from carrying laundry down the steps while well, I was about to come down my steps and my as I was holding the laundry my hand hit the side of the counter and it scraped and today I'm supposed to be doing April's hair washing it conditioning it blow drying and straighten it because I am taking our photos tomorrow on thanksgiving because everyone will be getting you know dressed for the day and so i thought i'd just wait because april was sick um april got sick during the time it was supposed to take them last which was last saturday and now she's better well, everyone's just doing much better but anyway that just literally threw a wrench in my plans because it's gonna be so difficult to wash her hair in hot water with a freaking gash on my hand. It is what it is. Other than that, it's another day of the dollar. So glad that today, you know, is the last day before I have off of work. I'm so glad that I can sleep in tomorrow. Cause y'all, I've been tired. Um, it's been it's been such a difficult like last week and this week. It's just been I've just been tired and not wanting to wake up in the morning. Really wanting to sleep in, but obviously I got work, so <clears throat> it's been hard. I have to put together my backdrop that I use for us to take pictures. I had made this backdrop out of PVC pipe. And hopefully I remember how to put it together. All right, so I have all my PVC pipe on the floor. And so I'm just gonna build my backdrop real quick because I don't wanna do it tomorrow. And I just wanna get out of the way while I have a little bit of time. But it's fairly simple. It's just a couple of pieces. And let me see if I can turn the camera a little bit. And maybe give y'all your own idea of maybe making one if you're interested. These go in here. This go in there. And it's better if you have two people because it is hard building each side one person but you can do it it's just a little bit more difficult
And here I have my um, material, which I'm probably going to just iron this because it's a little wrinkly. But oh, I'm not going to use this actual, like I'm going to use this, but I'm not going to use it in the photo. What I'm going to do is just erase the background, but I wanted it something plain and white. So it goes this far, which is about, I think it was four feet, if I'm not mistaken, or five feet. Um, and then it just hangs down. And I was going to say, then I have this green one, which I don't use anymore because for some reason, like I can see the reflection, this green reflection off of our, off of our faces. Now, if I was in a more, if I was in a larger space and I use this green screen, I would definitely be further away from it. So if I were to place this up, I would at least be, you should at least be like, uh, I don't know, maybe arms length, two arms lengths away from it because the reflection, ooh, the reflection will show on your face. And that's what happened with my kids one time. And I did it again with my with pictures of me and my husband, which I totally forgot. Um, and you can see like the reflection of the green screen, like in his beard. So I use the white one now, crop off the back. And so forth let me show you a picture so this picture right here i took last october and it's like a wooden the background is like wooden but it was originally white but i just cropped out the white background and replaced it with a stock photo off of like canva and so that one is wooden and then this one as well that I took of me and my kids. Like you can't tell me now. I don't look like something from like J C Penny or something. My son is here. So this is what I took last year, and again I just cropped out the back, replaced it with the stock photo, and these are were our fall pictures. Hi. Hi. So hopefully this time I can try to get a little bit more like lengthy pictures, but that's not really my goal. My goal is to really get like um, midsection up, especially it's harder for me with multiple people, like four people. I'm trying to get one of me, Rob, and the kids. So that's going to be a little bit hard. But yeah, this is the backdrop. And all I have to do is iron this and slide, slide the pole through the hole. And it will just like hang. Simple as that. Hey y'all, so I just got off of work and I'm trying to log into my son's Zoom meeting for his um, work art conferences. And um, I, I had to schedule that too. But I guess the teacher is not ready yet. But um, so the kids did pretty good and they're, well, they did, the kids did good. Not pretty good they were they were quite excellent um april got straight a's robert got a's and b's and one c a high c he did get it in social studies um which i know from my own personal experience i hated it i literally did not like social studies but he didn't get a c being a so maybe he you know didn't understand the work or something like that he got a C because he failed to turn stuff in so that's my issue with that him failing to turn stuff in um because why not like he told me oh, I forgot I must have forgot to turn some stuff in because they can they give like an itemized um kind of report on what you know what percentage you got out of what so classwork he got like 83 percent homework he got 93 percent projects that part or you know presentations things that he has to like hand in at school um he got 67 percent and tests and quizzes were 79 percent so that was the lowest percent as far as like turning in like there's some things that he has to do in that class where he has to turn it in and i guess he has not so with that information i said you better bring that grade up 
because that means you're failing to turn and work i can see if you struggle with the work and not understanding it therefore you got a lower grade that's not the that's not the case you know that would be in like the test or quizzes area and if that's the case then you should be pre presenting that to me so we can help you um obtain a better grade but hi hi two of those oh. assignments they turn turned oh, actually i just checked on my part mm -hmm. i put a score in too low so actually once i fix it he should be oh really yeah to it that i should have put the score i put in was too low so once i fixed it he's back to a big oh. all right y'all so they actually the teacher actually fixed robert's grade so he didn't get a c he actually got a b um so that was a blessing so apparently she got something incorrect and which took it from a b from a c to a b um so i went to go run upstairs with robert's in the bathroom i have another meeting with another teacher i feel like my head is just not right and um that's it the report card conferences is complete robert's homeroom teacher had great and marvelous things to say um so moving on to april's hair that she had these braids in for the last like week or so gotta wash this all right her hair is freshly washed um it's about i don't know how many percent dry but i mean her hair doesn't hold water that well so it feels kind of moist um what i do is i just take a t-shirt and i just wrap her hair when she gets out but i did um cleanse very well i had to like triple cleanse almost and then i deep conditioned while she was in the shower because i don't be doing it like out of shower stuff and this is the condition of her hair we about to go blow dry i know it looks much shorter than well if it looks much shorter than what it actually is her hair actually comes down to like her you know mid back um a lot of shrinkage hair but oh anywho i'm about to just blow dry this out with this blow dryer but also using a combination of this brush that i got from five below we'll see how it goes finish April's hair. I actually put rollers in it. April? Let me show y'all with her rollers. Looking like grandma. Looking like grandma April. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up putting rollers in it because it just wasn't it wasn't doing what he needed to do. April, can you help me put this stuff away since Robert act like he don't know how to put stuff away? Alright, so we ended up stopping, going to get our food, some Chinese food. Then we ended up stopping at the market for just a couple of minutes so I can actually get cash back. But I need to go to the market anyway, so it was a win-win. But I need to cash back to pay for my food. So, Rob is on his way home. April here is done. Thank you. I think I still got to clean up that mess downstairs. Um, so, I ended up straightening her hair. And then it was just like, it was not working. I don't know what's... I don't know what the problem is. It's just, it's not working. Like, the straightening was just not working. I don't know. It was, it kept being like fluffy. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Lord, we are just so grateful and thankful that we made it to Thanksgiving of 2022. So, this is picking up from last night's vlog. I never finished last night's vlog because, baby. Last night had me stressed. Like when I say yesterday was just not like 
I'm not gonna say the the day wasn't good. It was just like moments in the day. So obviously I hurt my hand, um, which is you know a negative thing. And then you know I was working on a video. I was working on editing a video. Got down to like the end parts. Something happened with my footage. All the edit, edited footage is gone. Then you know like the microwave covers that you cover your food with. Well, I was preparing well we got takeout last night but i made the kids some vegetables i made me some vegetables um on the stove and i used both my burners and so when i was heating something up i took the lid out of the microwave and set it on the stove you know that thing just melted like it just melted all over the stove mind you i just bought that because my son melted one and so that happened it was just like little things like little things that just I was just like you know what I'm done I'm done <laughs> I literally got washed and laid in bed and I had me a glass of wine actually um just to relax but at the very end of the day it's Thursday it's Thanksgiving and I'm about to start breakfast for the family everyone's home Rob is off today I don't know like he's typically off Thursdays but I don't know if he's off because of the holiday. I think they do sell him. I think they are open, like his workplace is open. However, they're just, he's just usually off on Thursdays. So, it just happened that way. I guess we'll see on Christmas. Like, if he, I think he, they are open on Christmas. And I think they get overtime, which he might work. Let me open this up. So, we I'm going to cook breakfast and then going to uh take our family get myself together take our family photos and then chill for the rest of the day till it's time to leave I'll probably leave for my sister-in-law's house probably about four and um head all the way up there which is in New Jersey so I'm having some laundry here and that I'm scared to even take downstairs because this is where I scrape my hand right here I literally was walking past with the laundry and literally went like this. And when I say I could still see my skin hanging off of the dang on thing, like I literally peeled my skin off of the counter. Whew, I'm just so thankful y'all. Like I'm just like the way the sun just shined in my room this morning. I was just hugging up on my husband. Like, and then the kids came in and said good morning. It was just so perfect. Like, I'm just so grateful. And I just thank God that, you know, I'm here, that I have an opportunity um, to raise my kids because I was just reading an article of a mother, of a, of a child who lost their mother, you know? And he don't even have his father in his life. So, he's parentless. You know, so now he's moving in with his uh, uncle's, his uncle's family. So I'm just so grateful I'm able to be here with my kids because real for at one point in time, I didn't think I'd make it as far as like my mental health, you know, like I fantasize about leaving, not just physically, but not just leaving like the house, but like leaving, you feel me? So. But she didn't take her life by the grace of God. Her life, you know, was taken, unfortunately. But um, still, it's just being grateful that, you know, I'm here mentally, physically. Like, I'm here emotionally. Their dad is here. It's the same way, you know. We have, like, you know, a beautiful space, a beautiful, uh, you know, home to raise our kids and they feel safe they feel protected they proud of their space you know they have their own individual space their own rooms something that you know i've never had growing up you know they have a two-parent household uh they have things they need they have the things they want you know and it's just i'm just grateful i know thanksgiving is not a day it's not just a day itself that we should be grateful and thankful but it's a day to really like really hone in like every day I'm grateful but today it's just like a, really, a, a day to really hone in not just my own family not just the family I created 
but also you know extended family like my my parents my parents are still here um my brothers are still here i just i text my brothers the other day and i'm just like thank y'all essentially i said thank y'all for not being hood rats where you know you have your family you know worry about you being in the street you know i have an older brother who's working taking care of his family I have, a, I have a middle brother who's working, you know, helps out within the family. Like, if someone needs something, um, if someone needs assistance with something, like, he's readily, readily available, you know. Like, like I said, both my parents are here, and it's just a blessing. I love my in-laws. Like, I love them. I love my sister-in-laws. I love them. Like, I'm just blessed. Like, I'm just blessed at the, at the turn of events, like, in my life you know like god is just good y'all god god is good and y'all got my i got my sweet potato pie i don't think i showed this yesterday but i got my sweet potato pie but y'all last year i fell in love with sweet potato pie like i was eating it in the middle of the night okay like i would come downstairs and get a slice of sweet potato pie i was buying it after thanksgiving I don't know how that one's gonna taste though because that's a different brand and I did buy a different brand last year and I was like I ain't like it it had like it tastes like it had like shreds of like sweet potato in it like like it was like stringy so I didn't like that but I got it from ShopRite I think last year I did get them from Fresh Grocer and I liked it however the ones that I did like weren't refrigerated and this one was so who knows we'll see tonight <laughs> we'll see tonight but um yeah i'm so excited to take our photos and edit them and get them on the wall I'm so excited let me cook this breakfast i'm heating up a pan right now kids are upstairs rob is he just woke up like officially and yeah Did you, April? Um, I think All right, so it's been a little while since we've had breakfast, but I'm about to start my hair and makeup because, like I said, we are taking some photos today. And I want to do my hair. Obviously, do my hair. Makeup is an option, but I want to look put together. But I'm just positioning. I'm not doing my hair now. I'm just positioning it so that way... Um, I can go straight into doing it as soon as I'm done my makeup. But I want to pull back my hair because what I want to do is get it set backwards. Like I want to get this set back here so that I can. So when I so when I do my hair, because I want it to come like and then come. I can't ex I can't express it, but I'm just going to. Put this edge stuff in my hair so that way it can 
go back all right that'll do for now and then once i'm ready for my hair i can just go ahead and make it wavy like i want to I'm finally done my hair finally 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 jeez my arm was growing tired I tell you but I had sprayed it this time for the first time ever I had sprayed it with some got to be never uh like sprayed the finished product of my hair with some hairspray so we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it's a good hold. I'm going to put some lipstick on. It really smell like that. It's because of the moisturizer. Like, how do you want it? You I don't, need a lotion. You look like I don't a, want it like this up. Like, you I look, look like, stupid like that. You want it down? Rocco looks like yeah. he wants to be a cool boy. <laughs> look like that hairstyle when he wants to be like a cool boy. Like I was before. Like I was before. Here, you shape it like you want to shake it. Go ahead. Yeah. It's a really hot brush or comb. That's what we're doing. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna rewrite some things. April might need to get in the back. Kids might need to get in the back actually. Or have to hit the button. Everyone looking in the lens, not in the thing. 
Have it come down a little bit. Let's just see how this looks. Look at my lens. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, everyone, look at the camera. Look at the lens. Three, two, one. That's cute. Come on. Three, two, one. Two That's cute. Smile, April. Stay right there. Smile. Three, two, one. Dizzy, let me up. Come on. April, you're too big. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got done taking pictures. I just ran down here really quickly to straighten up because I don't want this mess to clean up when I get back. Okay. Um the pictures came out okay. It's a little bit harder when we're when we're taking photos with like tall people like my husband. And like usually I take the photos of just my children or me and my children, but to add my husband into it too was a little bit tedious because he is tall and you know I don't have like the appropriate lenses when it comes to cameras to like try to fit everyone in. So it was a little bit hard, but I got it done and we'll see how it turned out. I'll, I'll just, um, you know, like edit the photos and the, when I get them uploaded or whatever, like I'll edit the, um, I'll edit the footage. I mean, not the footage, like the photos so that way, like I can brighten them. I can do whatever to them because the lighting was pretty dull. Apparently like all the sun went away. I wish I would have got it done probably around 11 or noon probably would have been a little bit better um but i we're about to get ready to go it is i just fixed my watch but it's 3 10 and i actually have to go get my sister-in-law another sister-in-law um i have to pick her up which you know i didn't know about but that's the case so about to about to head out go get her and then head to where we need to head so I think I'm going to just um, show y'all clips or whatever because I don't really want to vlog in front of people. So there will probably be clips of, you know, Thanksgiving for the rest of the night because what I want to do, I've done. And I don't like to like literally vlog in front of people. So I'll probably just get clips. All right. So enjoy. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey y'all. Welcome to the next day. I am enjoying some leftovers. About to finish up work in a couple of minutes and yeah so um i didn't get any footage of yesterday's thanksgiving <laughs> but i definitely enjoyed myself at my sister-in-law's house spoke to some of her in-laws and it was just a great time the food was just immaculate brought me home a take-home platter and of course the next day, it tastes even better after it like marinades. Ain't that the case? Like I feel like 
it always tastes better the next day. Maybe because you don't have to cook it. Maybe they're going candy. I already got it. Give me it. Hey y'all, so it's a little while later, and I'm about to do some skincare. I'm gonna uh, do a mask, a um, bentonite clay mask with some apple cider vinegar. But first, I'm gonna like steam my face. I'm gonna put my face over hot water, kind of open up my pores. I'm gonna do the mask, and then when I'm done, when the mask dries up, I'm gonna put my face back over the steam to like um, to like melt the mask because it gets real crusty and dusty. <laughs> So, but I just, I was downstairs in the basement and I was tweezing my eyebrows, tweeze some chin hairs. I, like, I just want to do a skincare, uh, skincare, I say routine, but not even a routine because it ain't a routine. But just a, whatever, this is skincare thing. Water is boiling. I'm going to start the mask. Yeah, that feels so good actually. Like it's been a minute since I did that. And my face feel kind of moisturized, but that feels so good. I just want to be in a sauna somewhere. I really do. You know what I do sometimes too? Sometimes I do a, sometimes I do a ice water uh, like dip. So I take a large bowl of ice water and I dip my face in it. And that really helps with like wrinkles and pores. Um, sometimes I do that after I like neared my face. But I'm not going to near it today. But I uh, heard that ice baths are really good for you multiple times a week. Especially for like um, more mature skin. Helps keep it tight. Helps bring like blood. Like it rushes the blood to your face. Sometimes I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the mask before it dries up. So what I heard is good about Vincenite clay is that it really draws out toxins. Um, and sometimes when it's on my face, like I feel like pulsating and I do be feeling like weird like i can't describe the feeling but i feel like it really be drawing stuff out of my body like bring us towards my face it's gonna rain or something because my body be feeling weird and now i look like the mask <laughs> you it's getting hard oh well, it ain't getting hard it's hard Ain't completely dry yet, but I'm gonna give it some more time. 
uh, to dry down. And I think I need to do this more often because if it does get rid of toxins in the body, like helps get rid of toxins, like I need to do this more often. So I did go in with like just a couple more minutes more of the steam and I'm feeling good so I'm gonna go in with the mm, with the uh, sheet mask about 20 to 30 minutes actually I think I'm going to just go lay in my room with my husband while this just does its job Oh, so refreshing. Like just the coolness of it after being in front of that uh, steam. <laughs> it's kind of shocking to my face. Ooh, so pretty. Such a pretty girl. <laughs> All right, so it's been a little over 20 minutes, 25 about 25 minutes and I'm gonna take that off and so now I'm gonna go in with some vitamin E oil um I think it's mixed with a little bit of coconut oil I think I put in this bottle and I'm gonna take this put it all over my face where I plan to um derma plan so that way you can have a nice um, feel and be smooth. But I'm gonna go in with a clean razor and kind of hold my skin taut. Short strokes. You can already see it coming off already. Now I'm going to go in with some more oil. And then later, you know, I'm only taking about a dime size each time, even though it might look like a lot. It's really not. And coat my face. And I have this jade roller right here, which I'm just going to... Mmm... It feels really good along the jawline, like a massage. Mm. I can imagine that this relieves some stress, some tension. It does feel really good though. Hang on, hang on. this Arena Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. Um, I've been using this for years. They got salicylic acid, acne treatment, you know, stuff like that. But I need to get me a new bottle because it's almost out. Um, I probably need to clean my face just because I really didn't clean it when I started my uh, process. So I was like, let me just clean my face. Oh, that felt good. So now I'm about to go in with this Good Molecules Discolorating Correcting Serum. Um, I've been using this for a couple of months even though I stopped for the last maybe like two months. But prior to that, I was using this for a while. Ever since, when did I go out and get this? I forget. I think it was like after my birthday or something like that. And I was using it throughout the summer but then I stopped because like... I just haven't been 
I haven't been doing what I would normally do, like a skincare regimen, but it says to use it after cleaning the face. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do, cause I'm, I'm straight out from cleaning my face. So I'm gonna apply this, let it soak in, then go in with a the moisturizer, then top off with the oil. But this did help with my dark spots, I feel like. Um, I had a lot of, and I still do, I have uh, had a lot of dark spots, discoloration on my face, but I think it cleared up a lot. So, I mean, I don't know what could be the cause, you know, exfoliating plus doing, using this, uh, and then using like vitamin E oil, stuff like that. So, that could have been it. But my skin feels so soft and good. My pores look closed. Um, let me see. Try to focus. But my pores look pretty good. Um, especially since I noticed them yesterday because I put on makeup. And I was like, I used a pore filler just because my pores oh my are like God, quite big. Oh but uh, here we are. And now I'm just gonna let that set. And my daughter is just screaming like an animal. Let that set for a couple of minutes, then go ahead, like I said, with some uh, moisturizer. I have these different moisturizers that I had from um, my Ipsy bag. So I might go in with something that is quite hydrating. I actually might go in with this little guy. This is Burt Bees Overnight Mask. It's not really like a mask mask. So you put it on and you let it set for 10 minutes and you just completely rub it in. So I might just actually go in with that. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer. Wait, I think the water's gonna turn on right here. I knew it. And just like as I'm, as I am applying it, I'm just trying to like push it into the skin, but not like rub it in completely yet. Even though it looks like it's absorbing quite fast, actually. And while that's going, I have some eye cream. I have this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream, and I'll apply yeah, some of this. That was so fun. Oh, that was a lot. And then, in about 10 minutes, I'll completely rub in the rest of my face. And then I have some vitamin E oil in here. I got these little bottles from, I found these bottles from um, thrift shop. And I put some vitamin E oil in here so I can drop it out and like squeeze it out. So this is what I'm going to top it with. All right, it's been 10 to 15 minutes. And I mean, there's nothing really much to rub in. You know, it's all penetrated in my skin. So now I'm going to go with my vitamin E oil. And this should be the end. I put her in her place. I love vitamin E oil because it's so light. And it really has great benefits for the skin. I'm also going to apply the vitamin E oil under my eyes to really seal in that moisture. And that's gonna be it for just my little um skincare day or something, whatever. Then my eyebrows are looking really, really good to me. So good to me.